For today's cook, I'm going to be dry aging this beautiful 22 pounds choice grade sterling silver packer brisket. When dry aging, it is important to keep everything clean. I am using gloves and I did wash the whole packer brisket with soapy water before starting. Now I'm just drying it off. Now I recommend opening the bag just on the front so that you do not get any of the other part exposed to air. This is an umai bag. It is a special bag for dry aging. Do not get confused with vacuum bags where no air escapes. This is not wet aging, but it is dry aging. These are special bags that allows airs to escape, but does not allow any air to go back into the bag. It also keeps contamination from coming into the bag from your refrigerator. It allows you to dry age at home without any special equipment. Then I like to remove as much moisture as I can using a paper towel. Because this is a large bag, I first sealed it one side and using a special fabric it allows me to suck all the air out using my vacuum sealer. Then you want to transfer to a cooling rack so that air circulates throughout the entire brisket. As you can see it is now ready for dry aging. Do not be alarmed about not being able to suck all the air out. There is no way you will be able to and that's okay. However you should try to suck as much air out as possible. Now that we have the brisket ready I am putting it in my regular refrigerator for a total of 60 days with nothing else to do but wait. After 60 days, I removed it from the bag and this is what it looks like. As you can see, some white mold started forming. So after consulting my favorite dry aging group, Dry Age Beef, in Facebook, myself and several other members, we determined that it is okay to continue my experiment. So I did. Now all there's left to do is to trim it. And when I did trim it, I was surprised by these results. Check it out. I was completely shocked by what I was seeing. There is something that I cannot explain because as I was trimming it, the fat felt just like Japanese Wagyu A5. It was starting to melt with the touch of my hand, something I definitely did not expect. Let me remind you that this is a choice brisket, not prime. So how could it feel like a Japanese Wagyu A5? I knew that this was something very special, but I cannot explain why that was. But I was excited to cook it. I really wanted to taste the brisket, so I only seasoned with salt and pepper. Now that we have this beautiful brisket ready, it is time to cook it. I was very nervous on how to cook this brisket, and I had to pick something that was very familiar to me, something I used hundreds of times, and it never let me down. So I am cooking it on my old Weber kettle using the slow and sear. I am going to be smoking this brisket until I hit an internal temperature of 185 degrees Fahrenheit on the point. I am going to be using my lump fogo charcoal and hickory wood. I will also be spritzing it with apple juice every hour in order to keep it moist. But enough talking, it is time to cook it. So let's do it. After smoking it for several hours, I did hit a stall at 150 degrees Fahrenheit. So I decided to do the Texas Crunch, which is to wrap it in aluminum foil. This speeds up the process. Then I put it back in my cooker until I hit 185 degrees Fahrenheit on the point. 
Once the 185 degree strain height was reached, I put it into the cooler and rested for two hours. Once the two hours had elapsed, I was rewarded with this. Check it out. All right, guys, we got our beautiful brisk. What do you guys think? I'm ready to eat it, man. Yeah, it looks like 10 out of 10. I've never seen a steak blow up with juices. It's not a steak, it's a brisket. <laughs> well, I've never seen any anything blow Did up Did you guys with see that explosion as soon as I cut it, everybody? It just exploded of juiciness. It's still juicy. I'm not used to anything like that. That was quite impressive for me. I've never yeah. seen that. Huh? <laughs> that. That was the first. <laughs> I think enough talking and we gotta try it. You ready? Let's go. Let's all right, go. all right, let's try this. First, let's try what they say is supposed to be the dry part, which don't look dry at all. <laughs> All right, Evan, go for it. Grab that. This is the point. Okay. I'm waiting. We're doing a little one, two, three. I'm sorry. This is not the point. This is the flat. Go for it. You just go? Yes. Oh, you want us to wait for you? Go for it. Go I'm for the flat. Here. Tell me if it's good, juicy, amazing, incredible, or if it's bad. Mm. I'm about it. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. I've had a lot of brisket. Is it good, Evan? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good piece of brisket, man. Angel, you say you don't like brisket. We got the stamp of approval over here. Is it juicy? Oh, it's juicy. <laughs> you about to start liking brisket. Mmm, that's like good, brisket. everybody. Cut a little more. Cut a little more. <laughs> Ooh, you feel that little ubami from the dry age? Oh, that is nice. Go for it, Evan. 60 days, well worth it, let me tell 60 you. 60 days dry age, Evan. What do you think? If I had to do it again? It's worth it. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> what do you think, Angel? Mmm. Wow, that's good. Are you ready to try the good part? Yeah. That was supposed to be the bad part. Now we're gonna try the good part. Uh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go, gentlemen. Let's go. What you looking at, Angel? Which piece you want? Do you want the end? You want the first cut? Yeah. All right, go for it. Let's go, man. Let's Point. see. Dive in. This is the point. Angel? <laughs> what happened, Angel? <laughs> you say you don't like Brit. You're going for the second one. You don't even want to talk. What are you doing? <laughs> we don't need in. to talk. I guess, I guess, it's, is it good, Evan? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this was the part that we saw explode, and let me tell you, that mm. juice, that juice is there. <laughs> wow. Wow, man. Keep cutting, though. Keep cutting, Angel. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, I don't have an explanation how this tastes. It tastes incredible it does have a little bit of the dry aginess like a umami flavor that is quite unique it is ridiculously juicy like mm -hmm. I, 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 can't, I can't describe how juicy it is it is fantastic in regards to the beefiness of the flavor the smoke the smoke is perfect it's not overpowering it's beautiful it's just the perfect amount of smoke on it I mean oh, yeah. I'm gonna go on a limb here I think this is the best brisket I ever cooked Period. Now, yeah? yeah. You going there? Yeah, I'm going there. Ever? <laughs> this is <laughs> incredible. Now you're gonna ask me, Guga, is it really worth dry aging for 60 days? I'll let you reply. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a yes for me. <laughs> yeah. Will I do this again? Absolutely, I'll do this again, everybody. It is, it's an experience. It's, uh, wow. And enough. I think you guys got the point, right? <laughs> yeah, and I think, I think brisket is Evan's favorite. Yeah. Like, this is, this is my favorite type of meat. I always order it at barbecue places, and they just don't compare to this. Like, they, it, it, it is. It, it's, it's, it's very unique, everybody. It's yeah. unique. It's leaving me speechless. <laughs> so I don't know how to say it. It is incredible, everybody. It is incredible. Anyway, you guys enjoy it? Oh, yeah. Now we gotta share with the rest of the family. <laughs> what? What are you say? Keep cutting, bro. <laughs> Come on, Angel. Be nice, Angel. Guys, anyway, let me cut it for this gentleman. Look at that. It cuts like butter. I don't. Have, look at this. <laughs> look at that. It's like butter. I'm gonna have to fight you for it. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. You're taking two. No fighting. There's plenty for everybody. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's definitely worth dry aging the brisket. Give it a try. I promise you, you won't regret it. Mm -hmm. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. We out. To wrap up this video, everybody, we were so excited that we could not explain exactly what was happening. This cook was very bizarre in a very good way for me. When I cut it that brisket and it exploded, it was a complete surprise because I did let it rest for two hours. However, it was still hot. Now, I do understand that you might think that it was completely dry because all that juice came out of the brisket. But let me tell you, this was the most juiciest brisket I've ever tasted in my life. I think the dry aging process did something to the fat and it did not let it get hard again. This is the leftover brisket and it's been two hours after I sliced it. As you can see, the meat is dry on the top, but it's still so juicy by a little squeeze juice still comes out. The fat never hardened. It is the weirdest and the most exciting thing that ever happened to me. I don't know how to explain this situation and I love to bring it to the comment section so that you guys can help me figure it out. I can tell you this, I am definitely doing this again. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the comment section down below. Take care.